Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you from uh, L'Art de la Matie, so from Guerlain, the Extraits collection. I have here in this little box, in this little bag, all six extraits, exceptional extraits from uh, Guerlain. And uh, before I start with this presentation, I would like to thank uh, uh, Louis Vuitton Moe Hennessy Perfumes Germany, so LVMH Perfumes Germany, the Guerlain division, for providing me with this uh, tester set. I have here all six of them and big thanks um, I, I would like to send to Mrs. Nguyen which uh, she made this possible and Mrs. Santos which packed it perfectly and took care of the shipping so I get everything uh, correctly and uh, now let's go ahead with this set. As you might have heard, Guerlain is introducing six essential perfumes with the new Guerlain uh, L'Art de la Matie Les Extra Collection. They are in 50 ml refillable bottles. I will put them uh, here so you can see. A refill, if you finish the bottle and then you go to a boutique, uh, in each country there are just a few selected boutiques, you will pay 30% from the original price for a refill. So as example, in Germany is 550 euros per bottle you will pay around a little bit over 360 let's say the new exclusive uh, Guerlain L'Arte La Matière Les Extra line includes six perfume extracts these are uh, saturated with an um, perfume oil concentration up to 30 percent that's why they are the exceptional extraits i know that you have even higher concentration uh, for example from amouage i uh, already am waiting for the jubilation 40 but uh, yeah this is a guerlain and uh, we are talking about only guerlain as of now what can you expect from the new guerlain perfumes from the guerlain l'art de la matière les extraits collection first of all uh, like I said, a highly concentrated formula, great creativity from the two perfumers Thierry Vasset and Delphine Yelk. They are the in-house perfumers for Guerlain, as you might know so far. I also got a little card in here. It's uh, from Guerlain with a very nice message inside um, to enjoy the extraits and I am so the little things uh, matter and when you go to a premium brand like a Guerlain is exactly what you get next to the great crafted products you also get an experience and that's priceless I would say right so this is the box that's basically an unboxing i tried them already and i know how they are but now i present to you also them in the same way they were presented to me when Kerlan shipped me this box is this a gift box in here and inside there is this little nice bag with the Gerlan logo and inside there are all the goodies for which you have clicked right now to see this video I have here, like I said, all six. I will go one by one and um, some of them I will spray on the skin and some of them I will spray on the paper because I only have this much skin and they are extraits and they will last forever. So the number one from them I will have the Rosa Centifolia. Let's see if the camera is catching. Rosa Centifolia extrait number one. This has 30% perfume oil inside and I hope you can see here it has this rosy color which uh, leads me to believe that it has a lot of rose oil so rosa centifolia I have tried this before and um, I was absolutely impressed I will now spray it on the wrist and tell you a bit about it wow what a great scent man like and it's so oily and it smells so concentrated in the rosa centifolia extra number one you will have may rose absolute almond honey patchouli and frankincense oil it's such a beautiful and such an exquisite rose when i smell this i imagine myself walking in a beautiful uh, garden of roses and you also get this frankincense playing along with the rest and a bit of sweetness from the honey and this would be a floral woody scent. The story behind it is that since its founding, Pierre-Francois Pascal Guerlain, the house's founder, has sourced roses from grass for nearly 200 years. 
This is lasting a very long time and it transforms into such a gorgeous and addictive smell. It reminds me a bit of rose incense from Moage. Basically that one is also rose and incense and this one is rose, incense, patchouli, honey. This is a great unisex smell and I see myself buying this extra in the future. I already ordered rose incense. This smell literally works well for me. I like it very much. So the number one in this series is Rosa Centifolia, extra number one. The number two in this list, it will be the Iris Palida. I hope you can see it. Iris Palida. This is called Iris Palida Extra Number no. 6. This is powder and woody. I will spray it on the other hand because this is a scent that I enjoy very much. Iris Palida. Basically, uh, it didn't spray. It just uh, dripped on my skin. This is just a stunning Guerlain fragrance, guys. This will have almond, musk, iris butter, sandalwood, and white suit. You can understand from these notes that this is a suave, this is a seductive smell. And this is not necessarily a smell that I would see a man wearing. This is powdery and woody. It just develops into such a beautiful, luxurious iris butter smell. The concentration here is also 30% of a precious iris butter. And from all of them, I do enjoy this smell very, very much. It is the most buttery iris note I have tried um, ever and it is like a luxurious shirt simply covering the skin with this aura of creamy sandalwood and iris. For a lady, this will be the perfect scent. I do not see this one worn by a man. This was number two, Iris Palida. This is how it looks like. For number three, we have the Bergamot Fantastico. I hope you can see it. This is the Bergamot Fantastico Extrait 11. This is a citrusy fresh scent. This is the best rated from all on Parfumo. Wow, it's just so, so nice. It's Calabrian Bergamot with Petit Grain, with Opoponax Resin and Guayac Wood. So this here for good reason, I think the best rated from all of them because it's also the most pleasant and the most, maybe I could call it mainstream from all six of them. This will be an instant love for everybody. I don't think there is anyone on this planet who will spray this one and will not enjoy it. The significance of Extra 11 rests in the recognition of the 11th month, so November, a golden number that distinguishes Guerlain's bergamot. Since 1853, Pierre-Francois Pascal Guerlain selected bergamot to infuse vibrant freshness into his imperial Eau de Cologne. It was presented to Empress Eugenie on her wedding day, marked the ascent of Guerlain to the esteemed position of the official perfumer at the court. Yes, I'm reading this, but this is also a great story behind the scent. So it's not your typical citrusy uh, smell, this one. It has this bitterness from the petit grain. It is citrusy from the bergamot and together with the rest of the notes, it makes this wonderful fresh citrusy smell, which in a hot summer day would uh, shine. In the colder months, maybe it's a bit too fresh and it will not fight the cold outside. But for this, you have the other ones. So on the number three, we have the bergamot fantastico which is really fantastic. I like it very much how it smells. So number four is not a top, it's just how I have them from the website uh, aligned. So number four is Vanilla Planifolia Extra 21. This is sweet powdery. This one here is absolutely great. So for vanilla lovers, you can't get better than this. I will spray now. The sprayers are very good. Wow. Instant ice cream, Poo, such a great vanilla scent. So Vanille Planifolia Extra 21. You have Bourbon Vanilla, Bourbon Vanilla CO2, Vanillin Mask and Amber. So the Vanillin probably gave me this ice cream impression for it. The significance of Extra 21 lies in the acknowledgement of the golden number for Guerlain's Vanilla. 
Derived from the Planifolia variety, this exceptional vanilla undergoes a meticulous 21-day cold maceration process in alcohol to evolve into a tincture. So that's why it's 21. After many hours, so I have worn all of them during a week. I, get, I got this set a week ago. I worn every day another one and that's why I can also tell you a bit about them. This one, after many hours, so like 4-5 hours, it transforms and becomes this burning vanilla scent, a bit boozy, and it's similar to Baby Cat from Yves Saint Laurent. So like not a copy, not identical, it reminds me, it has a similarity with that one. This one is much more addictive. It will even last longer. So of course it's an extra, it should last longer, but sometimes it's not a given. Many scents, uh, they are advertised as being very powerful and they are not. For vanilla lovers, this is awesome. So my wife likes this very much. My wife likes uh, vanilla scents very much. And when I uh, spray this on her arm, she also enjoyed it very much and uh, like um, s kept smelling her arm for many hours. So vanilla planifolia is also a scent which I see it mainly for a lady. So for a man, I think it's a bit too feminine, if I can, if I can say so. And it's nothing wrong with that. I do believe that many of the clients which will purchase these extraits are uh, wealthy women which like to go shopping and like to have the most exquisite things in life. And why not? They go and purchase these extraits from Guerlain which are like at the peak, at the top of the price range for such scents, but also in terms of creativity and in terms of uh, the quality of the materials used for creating this scent, I don't think you can have better than this. And it's a French perfumery, so it will be a bit more toned down, close to the skin, but it will last very, very long. It's the same with uh, Vanille Planifolia. Wow, it's just... Guys, I wish you could have the chance to try these things because they are absolutely stunning. We have two remaining. So on number five, I have Jasmine Grandiflorum Extra. 30. I hope you could see it. I will spray this one on the paper because I don't have space on my skin anymore. Wow, this is also very, very nice. So this is a floral scent. You have CO2 Absolute from Indian Jasmine Sambac. Jasmine from grass, so the best of uh, the, this kind. Absolute from Calabrian Jasmine and strawberry. So. I would call it floral fruity, but anyway, on Parfumo is floral animal. The significance of Extra 30 lies in the recognition of the golden number for the Guerlain's Jasmine. Always at the forefront of innovation, Guerlain perfumers have chosen a low temperature CO2 extraction at 30 degrees Celsius. This process captures the intoxicating floral and fruity essence of the Grandiflorum Jasmine. So that's why it's called Jasmine Grandiflorum Extra 30. If you think that this might bring you into Reflection Man vibes, it doesn't. This is a very feminine floral jasmine for vanilla and like for the iris. I do see also this scent leaning feminine. They are all unisex. Of course, we can wear whatever we want. It's very nice. If you're a jasmine lover and you like jasmine, you will like this one too. It does remind me of another Guerlain. I think it's called Jasmine Bonheur and uh, Jasmine Cusamono from Armani. So basically it's a great Jasmine in here. I think it's not very much oriented towards men, so it wouldn't be, uh, I am not their target with this scent. It's very feminine. It's great. It has a very natural smell to it. And if you are a Jasmine lover, then look no further, give this one a try. If you ever have the chance to go to a boutique, a Guerlain boutique, give it a try. So. On number five on my list was Jasmine Grandiflorum, which has a very nice nuance in here, a very golden nuance, and comes with these beautiful uh, cartons. So even the packaging of the samples is exquisite, but I believe so too. If we talk about this very expensive line of extraits, also the little samples should have a great presentation, I believe. And the last one, so the number six from this list, Tonka Sarapia, I hope you can see it. Tonka Sarapia, Extra 75. And this also has a nice story why it's called like this. I will now spray it on the strip. 
Wow, so powerful. Uh, of course, it reminds me a bit of Tonka Imperiale because it's a Guerlain creation, of course. So you will have Kumarin, which is a vanilla scented compound from the Tonka bean and Tonka beans from Southern Africa. So basically, this is a part of Tonka bean plus Tonka bean, like uh, extra, I mean. Originating from the Sarapia tree, the Tonka bean is renowned for its high Kumarin content, up to 75%, which imparts its distinctive almond note. As you know, Guerlain, especially the men's line, the normal mainstream line, they have this beautiful almond note. In the Lomi Ideal, you have l'almond note, which is basically due to using Kumarin into the composition. Since 1889, Guerlain has employed this molecule in micro doses to enhance the tonka bean, multiplying its potency. Kumarin, naturally present in the tonka bean, was first employed by Guerlain in 1889. Aimé Guerlain used this synthetic molecule in creating Jiki. This is a gourmand sweet scent. If you like gourmand sweet scents, if you like vanilla scents, if you like this sweetness of the tonka, this is also a scent for you. It's very sweet. For my taste, it's also a bit too sweet. I like how Tonka Imperiale is done. I like uh, Tonka Imperiale a bit more than this one. But of course, in here, most likely, Guerlain have used all the best ingredients and they created this wonderful extra. I see it unisex, so either a man or a woman can wear this very well. This also has a nice color in here. Uh, I hope you can see it. It's a bit brown. So yeah, this was the number six from this exclusive, expensive line. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It was quite long, but there were six extracts to present you. I am very thrilled that I had the chance to present you these very exclusive creations and also experience them myself because I was very curious when I saw them appearing on Parfumo and on Guerlain's website. I said, I need to try them, but we have six Guerlain samples. If I would have six bottles from this, it will be over 3,300 euro. 3,300 euro for a video, that would be a bit too much. But to my luck and yours, Guerlain have been very kind to me and sent me these samples to review them. This is uh, my review and my impression about these six cents. I have not rated uh, none of them in the video because I do rate the whole collection with a 10 out of 10. The creativity and the high quality of the materials used in here are simply outstanding. And they cost 550 euro, maybe in the US will be a bit more expensive, for 50 milliliter, which is quite a lot of money, of course. When you get to this level of luxury and olfactive experience provided by Guerlain, I do not think that their main target clients for these extraits think that the price is a key factor. So these are, of course, exclusive, these are expensive, these are extremely well crafted, and uh, you get what you paid for. So all of them are a 10 out of 10 in my books. I have some I like more, like the Iris, the Rose Centifolia. I have uh, worn these six scents uh, during the whole week. The longevity is absolutely fantastic, something that you would expect from an extra de parfum. They do not project too much, so they stay quite close to your uh, skin or your clothes, but they will really last a long time, and that's something that of course you expect for this amount of money and if you uh, put into consideration also the fact that they are refillable and you can go to the boutique and refill them when they are over with a 30 percent discount there is some sort of uh, advantage let's say uh, if you have the 550 euro laying around to purchase uh, a bottle to start with this is my take on the extraits collection from Guerlain I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, presentation of the scents and um, I hope to see you soon on the channel again please let me know in the description what do you think about these Guerlains if you had the chance to try them or if you are curious to try them in the future and I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy, take care, bye bye!